Hello Fashion Sewers, I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Okay, this is something totally new. I've never tried this technique before, so um, I'm excited to see the way it's going to turn out. And what I'm going to be doing is putting some curtain tape on this t-shirt in order to make it smaller. Um, through this gathering effect. Not sure if it's going to work, so we're going to find out together whether this works or not. So this is a shirt that I will be refashioning. So it's quite large. Um, and I just want to make it smaller. So one way, I mean there, there are different several ways of making um, t-shirts smaller. I do have a video tutorial on how to do it by taking in the side seams and get a really nice good close fitting um, tee to your body shape so I'll link that below but I'm going to be using curtain tape now I've had this curtain tape for years um, I used to make my own curtains and um, yeah so I've got some strips here of some old strips of curtain tape so that's what I'm going to sew onto the shirt in order to gather it and let and I'm going to do this in stages. I'm going to put each one of these strips on in stages. So I'm going to put one diagonally like that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then as it should, we control, gather up like that. Well, much better than that, but so it's starting to bring it in already, hasn't it? So we'll start with there. <laughs> and it's best to work on the wrong side of the t-shirt so i will turn that turn this inside out i'm just going to place it about there Near the shoulder, I think. Yeah, near the shoulder. <sighs> I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> We're gonna place it near the shoulder. So it hits onto my shoulder. Get some pins. And then just keep going diagonal until I come to the end. Put my hand through just to make sure that I'm just pinning the front and not the front and the back. So yeah, just the front. And there. couple more down here, one here. So it's just a case of sewing a straight stitch straight down on both sides of the tape and then ready for the first fitting. I've sewn the first tape into place and looks quite nice as a feature. If I put this on the right side, it looks nice. Okay, so remember I'm working on the wrong side so I'm going to pull the little strings that are in there. It's like gathering. Well, it is gathering, not like gathering. It's like a... You can see it's getting smaller already, can't you? Okay. Okay. That's definitely a lot smaller, isn't it? <laughs> it really is nice. But I still want to add more though. 
I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to try this on and see what it looks like. This amount of gathering or rooching effect. Okay, balance going. Make it too short. And it's on the front as well. I want to put some on the back or you shall see. The most nice thing is about it, you can adjust it, can't you, as well? That'd be fun. Okay, I'm going to try it on and see what that looks like. Oh, it's quite fun actually. Nice high. I that and stitch that down. That looks fun. I think the best way to approach this, I think, is to really have it on your body and then make the necessary adjustments in the right areas that you want it to fit. Put some more here. I'm looking, to, I'm looking into a mirror here, so please bear with, bear with me. But I'm liking that. And it looks nice as well. And not so much around the this area. I think I want a bit more on the shoulder. That's not bad. It has taken it in quite a bit. Um, I think I might want one here. Bring this in, and that's going to be a good one. I'm going to put one there. What do you think about the back? I may not have to do anything to the back, or maybe put one badly round the back. But I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm going to do one on that side. I think this side is pulled in enough. I just want this to go in a bit more. Maybe start it about here and bring it all the way to about halfway. Yeah, maybe about halfway. But well, that's that's fun, that's that's cute. Yeah, I like that. Maybe maybe one on the shoulder as well. Maybe yeah, that'll, that 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 look nice, won't it? So I'm going to put one here, halfway, and then on the shoulder. Well, not quite the shoulder because the shoulder's gone to the back a bit because it has distorted it a little bit. But yeah, I'll put one along here. Okay, let's do that next. So I'll do this one and then I'll come back and then we'll do a shoulder and then I'll come back and show you. So let's get ready for the second fitting. So I'm working on the right side, on the wrong side. And this is where I roughly wanted it to be. So I'm going to start it about here. Don't want it too close to there. I'm gonna start here. Let's hope that it's right, yeah. It's going to be okay. Yeah, keep it in between on the blue. I'm going to go halfway in the back, roughly. That's about half. Okay, to about here. This is where I'll finish. I 
we need to turn the tip over the other way because of these loops here it's best if it's turned that way actually this is a different tape compared to the first one that i used let's see if this is the same yeah the two different ones I'll pull the same way because like I said I've had, I've had them for years when it's making my own yeah I'm going to use this one rather than that one and it's only because of the loops because when it's been drawn these loops will be let me just show you I think can you see got this wave that's that's happening on top and also at the bottom so I'm not sure about the difference between them other than there is an obvious difference and I don't you know I don't know the names of why that one's been well I suppose it's because it's smaller isn't it but I'm going to use this tape rather than this one if I have to use this one then it's going to be at the shoulder so let's start again But it's important that you use what you've got around if you have anything around and that's what I'm doing so and like I said I have had them for for some time okay let me just get started okay So I can just turn this back and start here. Start again. If you haven't already subscribed, think about doing so. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing, whether they're old clothing or new clothing. I want to help change how we see fashion. So it's worthwhile subscribing to my channel. It will help my channel to grow and me to provide more video tutorials. Thank you. Let's get back to the video. I've now sewn in the second tape and I have changed the position of where it was because I kept it within this blue. So I've kept it at an angle. I think that would be better. It's just an idea that popped into my head as, as, I, as I was beginning to sew. So that's where it's starting from. And I curved it a little bit here and came up at the back just a little bit. And let's just see what happens. Um, so it's just a case again of just pulling these little tie things and just gathering it up and see see how smaller it is getting as well sure turn it over the same on the other on the back of the shirt oh, that looks super cute it does it really looks cute I think I'm gonna like this project. I like all my projects anyway. That looks good. I like that. Right, I said I was gonna put one on the shoulder as well, what was left over from that tape. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm gonna try it on again. So I'm going for a second fitting. Okay. That is nice, that's gorgeous. So I've got it in the side here. It's too long to see the back. Yeah, I think it's worked. I'm happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy with is this here. So I think, um, yeah, I think I may have to do a little bit of hand sewing in there too. Yes, that looks better. It's right under the 
Damn, yeah, sleep. I can still make my arm. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna tap that down inside. It's only a small, small amount. About two point five centimeters. That looks, yeah, that looks a lot better. Oh, that's gorgeous. Just to go near the t-shirt. Yeah, that looks really nice. That's not bad. I do put, so this is what is left. So that's it, enough for the shoulder. I think I'll put it just before the shoulder seam, I think. It would be better. Yeah, and reach that. Yeah, I think it's all nice. Yeah, yeah it's good. Nice. Love this. I'm going to show you how to secure the ruching that's happening. So I'm going to get one end and tie a knot. And you do it to all three. Like so. Nice, nice, tight knot. And then I'll just put that inside there like so. And then get the other end and just pull the ruching. That's the way I'm going to secure it. So what's gonna happen really now is that I'm going to kind of not put a permanent knot in this one because I may want to change it though. That, that's the thing, I may want to loosen these or even make it even tighter. And I think that's what it's able to do Yes, so that, that's the thing, isn't it? You don't want these, actually, you may want them to just hang down. No, maybe not. Um, I'll figure it out as I wear it. That'll be the best thing, I think. But that's how I'm going to tie it at the moment. And then just slip it inside. Yep, that's it. And then I can, if I want it to have a lot more looser kind of rooching effect, then all I need to do is just take that out and then, yeah, play around until I get what I want. If I want it to be a lot more ruched, then the same thing. Lots, looks nice and neat. Yes, third and final fitting. That's nice. So now it fits a lot closer. It's good. It really has turned out well. So all I need to do is just do the finishing touches, such as tucking that in like so, and doing a couple of stay stitches to make sure it stays in position and that's fine. The sleeve is gorgeous. And yeah, just finishing off, just cut that this off. And yeah, now I've got a top that is now smaller. I'll show you the back. And then I can change it around. I can really change it around. So I'll show, you, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. How I, you know, if I want this to be looser, if I want it to be more ruched up, or want that to be ruched up, or loose. You know, it's it's a versatile top, versatile. I perhaps could have taken this all the way to perhaps here actually. Hmm. But no, happy, happy with the result. So I'm share with you some tips and advice. Um, just go for it, it's the first tip, just go for it. Just put it on there, sew it and just see what happens. You don't have to follow the directions in which I place mine. You can choose other directions in which to go. You can use more tape, you can put more in the back, more in the front. Um, the choice of tape, uh, I really can't give that much advice on because mine has been mine are, are literally leftovers that I've had for a very very long time that's the reason why you saw a difference in the second one which I was going to use and then I changed it to the other one which is very similar to the first one that I first put on um, do I think it's going to be any different? I don't think so other than what I said earlier on in the video um, I don't really think it should affect your project uh, just remember to tie 
um, the knots at the, at the beginning or the end and pull through and you know use the same kind of tie uh, tying off the knot to secure it and also one that is temporary so that you can you know make adjustments to how you want to wear it um, I won't know that just yet um, if, if that works I'm hoping that it does it does work like I said it's the first time ever I've tried this technique um, but I do like it and um, I'm sure I'm gonna have lots of fun wearing this with uh, jeans or even 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 a pair of pants um, pair of trousers so that will be fun I, I am happy with what what's happened it's, it's it's a good project because I had no idea what I was going to do where what direction it was going in and I think that's the best advice that I can give you is just have fun just have fun with it and just play around with, with uh, making a shirt smaller other than just taking it in at the sides um, so yeah that's it that, that's the advice and tip that I can share with you if you want to know how I'm going to style this though I would advise you to follow me on Instagram so that is the result and I like it I really do like it it's a fun little project um, yeah I'm using up um, leftover scraps and I am pleased with the results it's it's fun I really do like it I, I would definitely make another top like this that's if I've got any more curtain tape mm, I'm not sure but I would I would definitely would do this method again if you do try this method then please do tag me if you enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up and please do share and tell your friends all about my channel please remember that if you haven't already subscribe please do so because I'm here to inspire and motivate you to um, refashion old or even new clothing and like I said if you like this top and you're making your own then please do tag me and I see you next time